All right, we're back. This is Gloomhaven for the PC, and I suspect this is going to be our final scenario of the campaign. So let's start it off with a good old city event. Hey, aren't you the mercenaries who stopped that weird tornado from destroying the city? You turn to see a dirty dock worker point at you with, with wonder in his eyes. What was that all about anyway? More people stop and stare at you. This has become an an unfortunately common occurrence since the gloom was destroyed. You have become something of a minor celebrity in Gloomhaven. I guess we can tell them about the story? You smile and nod, explaining how an ancient force attempted to destroy the city, but it was banished to another plane. Everyone around you stands enraptured by your story and cheers and claps at its conclusion. After a few additional questions, you are finally able to extricate yourself from the crowd and continue your business so i guess that was an event we gained from doing the void scenario um last time all right let's go to the vault of secrets do we want to bless everybody for a good measure yeah let's uh do this for old times sake Do I wanna, you know what, here. Let's even buy you a, uh, a major health pot. Super healing pot? Nope, can't afford it. Just a regular major healing pot. Yep. All right, let's go. Vault of the Secrets. You look down at the paper Dominic handed you. The vigil is operating out of the estate of some powerful noble from the capital named Deslin. The whole property is heavily guarded, but Dominic somehow discovered a secret tunnel into the vault underneath the Deslin estate through the west wall of the new market. Under the cover of night, you search out the secret entrance and head into the tunnels. Before you leave, Dominic warns that the Vigil's security is more advanced than anything else in the city. If any alarm is sounded, all exits will close, and you will be swarmed and killed by more guards than you can count. Your only hope is to infiltrate the Vigil's vault in secret, and make sure that any guard alerted to your presence does not get the chance to raise the alarm. At the end of the tunnel, you prepare to open the door and silence all opposition on the way to the vault's secret libraries. Let's, um, we'll just pick some things and loot chest. Okay. We have to stop all city guards before the alarm is raised. Okay, and we have to loot all the ornate chests. At the start of their turns, city guards perform move two toward the closest pressure plate. Is there a pressure plate in the room? There is not, okay. City guards can open the central door if they enter its hex, revealing the room beyond it, okay. If any city guard occupies a pressure plate, the scenario is lost. Well, if that is the case, I mean, we could just like perma immobilize them. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm like trying to position in a meaningful way. It's a stun trap. Okay. How about we go crippling bow into 
Scroll of Lightning. Okay, right here. And we'll go spread the plague bot. No, no. Let's do Nightmarish Affliction top action. Or even better, just immobilize both of you. Hmm. Nah. I kind of like the poison better. Okay. Let's do this, this. Sorrenting Dirge is fine. I guess we can push. Okay. One, two, three. Unfortunately... Oh, I can push you onto this trap. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. So I push you onto this trap. I can immobilize, slap you. I can slap, slap. Then what are we doing? We're just charging up and doing stuff? Okay. Attack order, practical plans. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. Oh, I can't do... Okay, fine. Alright. That was disappointing. I guess we'll push damage on you. Makes sense. What are you doing? Move one. What are you doing? Attack five, range seven. One, two, th well, all right, fine. How about we do this? We'll hit you, okay. Then we'll move up to here. And tank a little bit of damage. Quartermaster. Yeah, we'll do this. <coughs> then... I guess I don't even have to piercing bow. Well, nah. Nice, we didn't have to piercing bow. That was some pretty impressive damage. So let's go with, hmm, yeah, 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 and we'll just restore the thing, okay. So throw voice, melody, and harmony feels pretty good. And then we can just go up and start cursing, okay. And what are we doing here? Probably hammer blow, huh? Hammer blow, weapon of purity. Pretty standard setup. What are you doing? Move three, attack six. So it's gonna be on you. All right. I don't feel like... Oh, I have jump. Okay. Let's go here. Mm. 
What have I got left? I've got a creeping curse. Paralyzing bite. I don't have a bottom attack. That's fine. I can always heal. Nice curse. Wait, wait, you know... It just occurred to me. Like, I sort of saw this happen before, but it didn't, like, fully register in my mind. When you curse enemies... It curses all of them at once? Like, do they all share a curse draw deck? That must be a digital thing, because there's no way you could do that in tabletop, because each monster type has its own modifier deck. No? Wait. No, 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 no. The enemies share a modifier deck. I'm actually crazy. Yeah, that's how the game works. Oh. <laughs> Holy cow. Curse is even better than I thought. Like, this whole time... And if you're watching, you know, any of my previous recordings, thinking, oh my god, this guy's an idiot. Um, it's just, it never occurred to me that the entire enemy pool shares one modifier deck. Like, I kept on being like, alright, I'm gonna curse these targets, I'm gonna curse that target. It just never mattered. Huh. Wow. I'm not sure what we're really trying to accomplish here. I feel like the answer is nothing. Alright. Um, let's jump boots here. And, uh, slap you. Unfortunate. Alright. And this is... Nah, maybe it's not that powerful. Oh, it's, they're disarmed. So I can immobilize them this turn. Or I can just... Call to action. Strengthen all allies. Sure. Which means I can then curse you. Hmm. Okay. Mobilizing Axiom, Scales of Justice, So I think I'm just going to use the bow here. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm attacking for two. If I roll a plus one or higher, it kills. I mean, surely I just do this, right? Yeah, okay, it's dead. Got one more turn, okay. I can probably shield next turn. Um, surely this is an attack. 
attack, attack. Kind of want to go fast. Maybe not. Let me see. Echoing Aria. I can just immobilize you. All right. I can rot maggots. Go hit this. Um, I need a movement. Sure. Vile Pestilence, Rot Maggots. One, two, three. Hit you. Yep. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. And then what are we doing? We want to go hit Scroll of Lightning, probably. Haste and Step. Hmm. I mean, I can just pull you into the trap, deal six damage to you. Oh, if I use Scroll of Recall bottom action, that's good, I could reforge next turn. Yeah, so one, two, and then just pull. Okay. Shield you. And so now immobilize is kind of pointless, so we can just do an attack. Okay. I can go here? Pull, pull? Oh my god, that's actually insane. Because I'm flying, right? So I can just hover over this thing. Skip attack. Yeah. And then skip attack. Do this. Boom, boom. Confirm targets. Pull. Yeah. I get wrecked. Confirm targets. Pull. Yeah. Nice. Um, and then we're done. Huh. This is actually kind of insane. Then I go here. Right? And then just poison the hell out of you. Okay. And then I can just do this, right? With your superior attack modifier deck? Oh my god. Okay. Well, I guess we're long resting next turn. So far, this is going pretty smoothly. Ma. No complaints here. I guess reforge. Yeah. Top action is whatever. I guess I'll use... Like... Sure. Okay. Skip this. And then do this. Boop, boop. Huh. Probably this, then. Yeah, okay. Creeping Curse is gone. I'm kind of feeling sentimental. Like, if this actually is the final mission, it's, um... What are we dropping? Call to action? Sure. Mm. I feel like I want to keep D stance. Alright, attack order this. Alright, well, let's go. So it's uh, big room, small room, small room. And it says. Hold on. When an ornate chest is looted, a city guard will spawn in the closest corner of the central room. Okay. So I believe what we want is something like this. Practical plans. Um, and we can do this. This. Um, this is fine. Move three shoot is fine. Haste and step scroll of recall. Yeah. So here we go. Rip. 
What in the... A guard moving barrels jumps up in surprise. Intruders! Sound the alarm. Release the hounds. Power the golems. The vigil will stand tall. Okay, so those are the pressure plates. And if you fellows can make it to the pressure plates, we're toast. Okay, so the argument is they move to toward the pressure plates. So you're going to go boop, boop. You're going to go boop, boop. Okay. So the immediate question is, do we try to kill these or do we try to kill the other things while we control the guards? Right? Because I can just keep on immobilizing them. You're muddling. Oh, and as soon as I go up, you're going to muddle everything. So I don't... I guess I can stand here and block the door. You'll go here, here, and then you'll stay in place because you're an idiot. Then you guys are all... Yeah, okay. One, two, three. Skip movement. We'll attack you. Do this. Oh, this is extra awkward. Now I can't get through. Oh, I have jump boots. What am I talking about? So now this is awkward. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well here, let's uh, see if we can knock you out. Skip movement. Unfortunate. All right. A little bit nervous, actually. I can block one of the tiles. I'm going to end up tanking everything with you. One, two... I mean, to be fair, it's either... Hmm. All right, how about I do this? And then we'll move like so. Let's go ahead and grab these two cards back. Actually, maybe that was a mistake. Because I can bottom action immobilize, top action shoot. Fetid flurry, okay. I can also stun if I have to. Quartermaster. So here we go. We're doing this. Refresh. Yeah, yeah. Use this. We want recall and I guess hastened. And we're just spamming immobilize on you, I guess, while we figure out the rest. So scales of justice is good to stun this. Hammer blow is also good, but we can't move very fast, unfortunately. All right, we'll figure that out. So it's got to be fast move into immobilize, right? Which means we want to go kind of late, so the stun goes off for next turn. Um, stun is actually pretty clutch here. What's the range? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I can get a stun off on that. So I just have to go like this, this. Right? Yeah. I can skip the echoing aria if I want to. Okay, so if this is getting stunned here, then I can... Hmm. 
I mean, it makes the most sense for me to just do this, this, no? So if, what if I go super late? So like the stun wears off, then I immobilize for next turn and I can burn my immobilize, okay. So it's gotta be this. Confirm targets, yeah. Shield you guys. Um, I think I, I nope, I don't need to do this right now. I mean, I can, sure. This might be pretty clutch if I redo that. Oh, whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, we want to immobilize you and you. And we want to attack... Probably you, huh? Like... Which I'm not sure anymore. Well, okay, the Sun Keeper is going to be on top of this thing. So we can start putting damage on other targets. Okay. Oh, shield doesn't apply to herself. Unfortunate. Should have known better. Ooh, I'm immobilized. That's awkward. Should have checked that before doing anything. Okay. How about I get those back then, actually? Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's let's grab Scales of Justice and Mobilizing Axiom. Okay, so Quartermaster is mobilizing you. I think we just bow. Yeah, okay. Oh, unfortunate. That's fine. Okay. I want a mobilizing axiom and then... Because if I can get to here and block his path, then we're in a good position. So it's got to be... Do I even need to stun him? No. I just have to block his path. He's got Retaliate 2. That sucks. Alright. Um, maybe I don't. I have a stun. Huh. Okay. Well, here. How about I go up and stun him and then slap him? Okay, that's fine. So I'll stun maybe next turn. Black Tides is fine. Uh, heal is also probably fine from this position. I can go fairly late because you're immobilized. Okay. Melody and Harmony? Probably. And then I can change tempo if I want to. Just walk up and then immobilize at the end of the turn. Okay. So then what are we doing here? Because you're stunning at 23. So I guess we don't have to do anything. I suppose I can go like... Giant club slap you, scroll of recall. Okay. Oh, nice traps. Okay. Move up, go here, stun you, and attack, put a wound on it, 
Okay, pretty sweet. Then we will go ahead and use this. Cool. I guess it makes sense to just hit the dog, huh? Quartermaster can slap you. Nice. Gotta be a little bit careful with this. Range three. One, two, three. Okay, so this is fine. We can go here. That way we're not closer to all those archers. And then let's go ahead and just shoot this. Nice. Then immobilize all of you. I don't have to really do anything. I have a heal bottom action for next turn, I guess. Defensive stance. Weapon of purity. I can start thinking about hitting you guys with boots. Gathering storm. I guess I can go and poison all of you, huh? Okay. And then I would have to move up. Like, here, here, then poison all of you. Or over here and poison all of you. Okay, that makes sense. Um, soothing lullaby, heal. I can even stun. So I guess I'll stun late. I can push you into this. That's actually kind of cool. All right. Throw voice provoke terror, just push you that way. And confirming that I can, right? One, two, three, four. Right, right, so I can. Alright, so yeah, and then we're just gonna go and like I don't know, jump over here and hit something. Okay. So this feels like a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We can get to here. And do something like this. said we want to push you into the trap. Let's, like, confirm that it actually works. Oh, it didn't matter. We just die? Okay. Cool. Um, get disarm on you, too. See if I understood this correctly. Yep, I did. All right. Everybody here is poisoned. And 
and we want to jump. I guess here. Attack you. Go ahead and do this. And then... Suppose it doesn't particularly matter which way we go. I think this way. Nice. Guess I can do something like this and this. Crippling Bow Scroll of Recall is totally fine here. Soothing Lullaby... Maybe not. Ah, uh, whatever. We'll just go curse it. Okay. So what am I doing here? I'm gonna go... I can Violent Strain just kill this. Nah. Let's just... Paralyzing Bite Gathering Storm. And I'll walk over and just stun one of them, I guess. Okay. So, you're beating my dude to the punch. So we're just gonna walk over here. Block your path. Do this. Then not actually attack. All right, next turn is a long rest. <coughs> oh. That sucked. Well, I guess I'm doing this then. Yeah. Because, I mean, I either stun one target or I kill a target. And uh, that's, you know, CCing either way. Can I step on the pressure plate myself? If any city guard... Wait. Like, can I stand on it? Maybe I shouldn't test it, but I kind of want to. It doesn't say if any unit occupies a pressure plate, right? All right, let's find out. The uh, description was unfortunately not clear. Okay, um, I don't know. I guess we'll... That was... A bit frustrating. Now, uh, if there were a undo action turn or a restart round option that I could use, that would have been fine, but unfortunately... Um, you know, if you do it at the end of the round, then, uh, you can't restart, right? Actually, I wonder, can I do this? No, I can't. Okay. Ah. Uh. Man, this is emotionally tough. Like, I almost 
kind of don't want to do this mission anymore. Um, okay. Here we go. No. We're doing it like this. Alright. What are we doing here? Disorienting dirge. And... We can even use the bottom action here. Nah. Change tempo. Mobilize everybody here. Nah. We're gonna actually just kill them, I think. Okay. This is... Mobilizing Axiom, and then... Like this, I guess. One, two, three. Sure. Then... If I'm going to stun... I guess I can do it like this. If I stun you, okay, then I can... And I can also just stun you with Scroll of Judgment. Hmm. Okay. So what if I don't stun? Spread the Plague. Nightmarish Affliction. I feel like I did that last time. Alright. And we're beating them to it. So, it's just this. A range 7 immobilize. It's a move 3 and a pull. Huh. Alright. What if I go here? And we're gonna attack... I guess here. Nice damage. I wonder if we lost our bless. We did. The bless that we paid for? Unfortunate. Okay. Plague Herald. Boop, boop. Nice stun. And just do this. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to use the pot. Aye. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I can do this. Sure. As a fast stun is fine. 
can move up and even curse if we feel like it. Sure. Throw voice is pretty cool. This push doesn't work. Yeah, this push doesn't work either. Hmm. Okay. I can do this. Call to action with you. Makes sense. We can hammer blow and stun a thing if we feel like it. Yeah, it makes sense. Maybe I don't stun. Maybe I actually just hit it. Nah. Let's stun it. Disarming you is fine. Yeah, that's a big attack that we're disarming. Okay. What if I let you attack? Oh, that's a retaliate. Never mind. Oh, I already had a stun up. I didn't... Ugh. Okay. So this is really unfortunate. I'm, like, playing super poorly. Um... And I don't really have a good excuse for it, aside from, like... Um, I feel numb after that last mission failure. Um, I feel super cheated, if that makes any sense, you know? Um, Reforge is fine. Scroll of Lightning is also fine, sure. Okay, so... Practical plans is fine. D stance is also fine. I mean, I can do this D stance. Okay. Um, this and that's fine. This is fine. Sure. Echoing Aria seems pretty cool, actually. Stun is all right. Yeah, okay. And then, what am I trying to do here? I think I need to portable ballista next turn into hasten step. So catastrophic bomb is kind of okay. No. I need to do something like just this. Yeah, okay. Are right, we making traps? You're also attacking while you make traps. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's just do this. And then we'll attack you. <coughs> yeah, let's just do this. I 
can heal next turn. Sure. I can do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can do this. Okay. So what I'm actually thinking here is hastened step into scroll of judgment. One, two, three, stun, slap. And then we can illuminate target on you. Right? So I can do something like Dazzling Charge, eliminate the target. Um, Black Tides is fine. I don't want to heal yet. I can walk over with this. Soothing Lullaby is pretty fine. This actually immobilizes, yep. So I'll do this. Do you get a ranged attack? do have a ranged attack. Okay, but that's fine because I can do this and ooh, maybe I want to stun you instead. Yeah, okay, let's stun you. Um hmm. Nah, let's push this attack. <coughs> Plague Herald's turn. I mean, we can walk up and just sit on it, right? That way it gets poor. Well, I guess it has disadvantage against us anyway because of the thing. All right. Let's just go here. Let's go like this. Confirm targets. Nice. Yep. This is probably fine. Rot Maggots is pretty cool. I mean, we can do this. Okay. And then we're just dropping this to long rest. Okay. Now... Portable Ballista into Scroll of Lightning onto you and just let this attack once and then die next turn. I think that's actually how we want to play it. Yeah, I mean, unless I just want to jump boots over to here and slap this for five. No, I think I just want to do this. Push you. I can push you into the trap. Yo, what if I do this? 
What if I do this? What are you doing this turn? You're attacking for seven. Because I can do this, right? Hey, yeah, why don't I just do this? Plague Herald. Sure, if I hit here, I prevent myself from getting attacked for seven. Cool, okay. It's totally fine. This. Long rest, long rest. I need to be able to push late. I also want to be able to stun it into the room. What if I melody and harmony here? What's the point? I get retaliate. I feel like that's not very strong. One, two, three, four, five. I can start. F I mean, I can open the door. No, I think I want to open the door next turn, right? That's got to be it. So, disorienting dirge here, and then just like move and curse. Okay. Crippling bow scroll of recall is fine. Maybe I don't. I don't know. What do I do here? I'll think about it. lucky then do this again Yes, Gathering Doom, okay. It's kind of weird, because, like, all the cards are definitely usable. It's just a matter of, like, you know, which one do I feel like I'm going to use the least? Okay, so, Mobilizing Axiom. Weapon of Purity. Walk, hit, then hit. And then what I need to do is I need to walk up and stun, right? Um, like this. Um, I think we also want to stun. And then let's go with a... Hmm. Be super careful, though. Because ideally this takes care of that. Okay. So if I go haste and step into... Right, and remember there's dogs here. Guard there, guard there, archer, 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 right? So maybe we actually catastrophic bomb into the room. So I would be walking like scroll of lightning, catastrophic bomb. Okay. Um Creeping Curse is not a bad idea. It's Creeping Curse, Paralyzing Bite, in that order. So I walk up and curse something, then I stun another thing toward the end of the turn. Alright. Let's 
go. What in the and skipping movement to attack here. <laughs> Unfortunate. Can we finish it out with you? Good, you can. Alright, so that's done. So here's an interesting thing. The city guard moved. So this is interesting. Ah, I see. Instead of their normal movement. I understand. So like... Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Well... Oh, you're in the frickin' way. Oh my god. Oof. I didn't calculate for this. At all. This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, and okay, so I can't get the dog, but I can do this. I think I have to ring of haste into the room. Okay, move. I can stun this triple. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Now, when it comes to attacking, I, attacking that's pointless. I have to deal with the dogs while we stun like this, okay? Um, and I need to replay that, I think. Provoke terror. Like this. But I have to do a fast action. Okay. I can just go here. How important is a curse to me? I don't think it's very important. Okay, but I can go here and then put a stun up. All right, this is fine so far. dead heal and stun no I need to wait for them to go first oof maybe this alright 
hammer blow. Stun. Illuminate the target. Bottom action hit. All right. Um, I mean, this is reasonable. Get poison up on it. And then just bottom action, attack. This is... I mean, portable ballista is definitely usable. And then... Cripple, if I crippling bow, then I don't have... I can reforge. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Both stunned. All right, that's fine. I'm going after the archers. <laughs> This and yeah, I've got to push dogs when I can. Because the archers are scary, but I think the dogs are scary. Right? So. Yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> Doing this. Can do bottom action and mobilize next turn. Sure. Let's actually go ahead and do that. We'll grab this and paralyzing bite. Okay, so we're just going to do this. Get this back. Do this. Hastened. And this. Then... Let's go ahead and get pot up and also heal. Oh, this is going to hurt. Because I'm about to take... Oof. But I think it's worth it. I'm going to heal myself anyway. I've got a pot. Okay, so here we are. It's crippling bow. Hmm. What am I doing? Fetid flurry. Heal, probably. Unless I immobilize. Mobilize, immobilize. Okay, so I want to step away from this then. Echoing Aria is fine. Throw voice is probably good top action. Okay. All right. All right. So how does this go? Immobilize you. You're stunned. Uh, 
mean, it almost feels right to do something like this. So I'm gonna bow with Scroll of Lightning and then Scroll of Judgment to walk over and stun this. Maybe. Alright, so what are we doing here? Practical plans is fine. Like this, Scales of Justice, stun this. I mean, this is going to get an action for us, probably. But if we shield everyone up here, we might be fine. Alright. What are you guys doing? You're attacking... No, you're not attacking. Okay. You're attacking twice. Holy shit. Okay. With Pierce. Okay, so we're going to disarm you fellas instead. Yeah, it's worth it. Because when the archers attack, I'll have shield up. Well, I guess you don't take retaliate if it's a disarm, maybe? I don't know. Wait, that's nonsense, because when we had uh, the Sawbones, the AoE gentleman's anger would take retaliate. So it's just got to be that it was saying retaliate because we were doing an action from one range, but since it wasn't an attack action, we didn't actually take disarm uh, retaliate. I think that's probably how it works. Okay, well, so we're going to immobilize you, and you, I guess, and I guess we're just going to do this. Okay, this pot. So this was pointless. All right, let's just walk up in here. We gotta be careful though, um, because it's gonna walk that way now, next turn. Really good stun there. Let's go ahead and heal up. Stun off on you. Skip movement, please. Thank you. All right, stunned. Then, as promised, we'll bow here. Oh, didn't need the bow. All right, totally fine. Okay. D stance. Hit you. Black Tides. Unless... Hmm. I could go and poison you guys. Maybe Rot Maggots is better. So I'd go like... This... This, this, sure. Okay. What am I doing here? Move and attack. Immobilize everything or something like that? Sure. Um, giant club. Scroll of recall. It's probably fine.
All right. We're gonna do it like this now. Actually. Yeah, okay. Like this. Maybe this is a mistake. Whatever. We're doing it. Hey, we got an item. That was totally worth it. Alright, so... Things we want. Major healing potion. We're doing this. Major stamina potion. Scroll of recall. Scroll of judgment. Yeah, okay. All right. I guess. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is a long rest without dropping. Let me just do this. I guess I, if I stand here, I get in everyone's way. All right. Can pull you onto the trap, but I don't think that really matters to me right now. Then we're actually going to save this, I think, for next turn. Okay. Long resting here. We're going to use... I guess we can keep change tempo. Throw voice, potentially? Yeah, okay. So, like, as a strategy, basically what I'm thinking of is... Like, it doesn't say you have to escape after you loot the chests, right? So I'm just going to use jump commands to run in, run in, and then loot the chests and be done. Although, actually, it's his closest corner. Okay, so I was afraid, like, if this was two tiles away, then I would have to control the city guard um, on the turn that it spawned. But I don't think I have to. All right, um, do something like this. Stun is fine. Um, I mean, heal is also fine. Sure. Then... Really 
trying to decide how I'm gonna handle this. I guess I can just do this, right? Scroll of Lightning and like Scroll of Judgment or something. Yeah. All right. And then... I can just kill this. I can stun something. Yeah, I mean, I can just kill this. Yeah. <laughs> so, the issue is... If I... Uh, yeah, I'll go here. Let's get movement. End turn. And I think I'm long resting next turn with you. Makes sense. Alright. So... You just got stunned. So how about I go here, stun you up again, skip movement, stun, then we'll put damage on you, and then we can do like this, this, sure. Then do the same thing next turn. Yep, totally fine. Like, we're pretty stable, right? Like, I don't think there's anything that can go wrong at this stage. Like, assuming that the door opening and jumping through enemies to get to the thing is uh, all fine. Right? So let's go scroll of judgment, scroll of lightning, again, long rest. In fact, let's go in reverse order, make sure we go after this fella. This is fine. Um, I guess this is also fine. Do a quick bless. Yeah, like that. Then, mobilizing Axiom, Scales of Justice is also fine. What are we doing? We're attacking, okay. <laughs> It's fine, I accept. Oh, I guess I could have moved one more tile. That's fine. Yeah, we'll do this. Go ahead and yeah, attack you. There's a chance we just kill. Okay. All right, what do we got left? We got huh, one turn. Sure, we can immobilize if we want. Drop out. Vile pestilence. Sure. We'll just poison with a different card. Alright, so this is Hammer Blow, Weapon of Purity, Spread the Plague, Nightmarish Affliction, um, feels like a Haste and Step Scroll of Recall kind of situation, yep, and then just cards. There's the door, okay. I just could even just go in next turn. Like, I don't have to kill this, do I? I don't.
Okay, so we got one, two, th three, four, five. Like, one, two, three, four, five. No matter where it is in the room, we can get to it with practical plans and jump boots. Right? Right. Okay. Practical plans. Why don't I go early? Hastened step scroll of recall. And then I think we're free to just do whatever we want. No? I can even stun this. If I feel like it? No. I'm using fetid flurry top action. Um, I don't know. We'll just heal. Sure. And then we'll drop this and then long rest. Actually, that was maybe dumb. Right? Because if we're walking in... I don't know. There we go. Do something like this. Oh, you spawn here. I see. So that's like not an issue at all. Make sure I don't like accidentally click off the tile and uh, fail. Do this. Something like that. Do it again for fun. Making sure there isn't some other like kill all enemies kind of situation. <laughs> I mean, if that's the case, then we'll do it, but, like... <laughs> we get a victory? I think that's it, yep. Searching through the vault libraries, you find both the Codex and Dominic's book without too much trouble. You find many other strange texts among the shelves. Golems and constructs, the Algox of the North. There is a lot of hidden knowledge here, but there is no time to sort through it all. More of the vigil could come down the stairs at any moment and alert the entire estate to your presence. You grab what you came for and run for the exit. Stepping over the corpses of the guards who stood in your way. You're barely clear of the tunnels when you hear an alarm high above you on the other side of the market wall. Without hesitation, you continue your escape, getting as far away from the estate as possible. Then it's just a simple matter of returning the books to Dominic. Oh, we did not. Oh, we did level up. Is that level nine on the sum keeper? Yes, it is. Let's take a look. Move six, jump. Affects self and all allies. I think move six, jump is just too good, no? Because that means I can get rid of jump boots. So what I drop? Tactical order for angelic ascension? Um... Hmm. Move three shield one is actually not bad. Righteous strength. I wonder if this is a better... Right, and I guess if I pick righteous strength, I could enchant it or enhance it with like shield two or move three jump. But the issue, of course, right, is that like if I do decide to put up um, defensive stance, then I need cards that let me move around places. So maybe I drop Mobilizing Axiom for Divine Intervention. No, sorry, this one. 
Supportive Chant. I just picked this because it was a fast card. Illuminate the target. I don't know. I think I'm taking this, though. Move 6 Jump gives me a lot of options. None of that particularly matters, but let's um, click this and um, get our Dominic narrative. Oh my, you've returned. Dominic springs up in excitement as you enter the town records building. He jogs towards you a little too quickly, trips on his robe, and lands flat on his face. Well, oh, no matter, he says, waving off the incident. I imagine you've recovered the books. Please tell me you've brought the books back. As you nod, he jumps to his feet, smiling broadly. Come then, it's time we got to the bottom of this. Preferably in your company, in case those maniacs come back. Once in the back room, Dominic quickly opens the Codex of Directives and flips to the proper page. Let's finish the story, shall we? The end did not come for the ancient man as he huddled in the darkness of his cave, insane and broken. The harbingers of the upheaval, a great army of demons, had succeeded in bringing a once powerful and glorious civilization to its complete and utter end. This had been a challenge, but hunting down the wretched creatures who now huddled together like rats in a cage, there was not sport in that. The world lay shattered and ruined before them, and the gloom grew bored. The forces withdrew and were dispatched to destroy some other world, and the gloom decided it would be far more interesting and challenging to manipulate the wretched scraps of this ancient race into destroying themselves. One group of ancient men who had fled far to the south were taken by the gloom, their blood tainted with that of the demons. The result was unrecognizable, a feral, animalistic race of half-demon, half-man. And then the gloom watched and waited. The gloom stood silent as man emerged from his cave and began to rebuild himself. The gloom smiled at the newfound arrogance of man as he began to expand his territories and take back the land from the unforgiving wilds. The gloom waited for the day when its two creations met each other on the field of battle and destroyed each other completely. The gloom, Dominic mumbles. Every time I think I've gotten to the bottom of this, something new emerges. He slumps in his chair. This sounds bad. I guess the Aether convinced the commanders to stop the war in order to avoid fulfilling the expectations of the gloom. But the Vigils seem convinced that the Gloom will still return one day to destroy us all anyway. I'm not sure what to think. Dominic shrugs. I'll spend some more time studying the text, but I don't know what it's going to take to find a breakthrough on this. In all the books I've read, I've never seen a single mention of this Gloom until now. I'll let you know if I find anything. Well, when I said breakthrough, I wasn't expecting you to go out, find the gloom, and destroy it, Dominic says, as you enter the town records building. Certainly nothing that extreme, but it did the trick. I was able to study some of the writing on the walls of the chamber you found beneath the void, and I've discovered quite a bit of information about the gloom. Dominic sets his book down in front of you. If you'll permit me, I have one final entry in my history of Gloomhaven for you to read. The study of interplanar travel was really the brainchild of a single man, Bastion the Seeker. During his studies of what was beyond this world, an unimaginably powerful being called out to Bastion from across the infinite planes, invading and corrupting his dreams. The being promised him knowledge and power beyond what any single plane could hold. Bastion began his work to open a rift between his own plane and that of the being poisoning him as it called from beyond. He was so consumed and overtaken by greed and vice that when the rift was finally opened and the upheaval began, the unnameable evil was able to merge seamlessly with Bastion's form, birthing what came to be known as the Gloom. It has been conjectured by Aesther scholars that the evil being has no form of its own, but simply travels from plane to plane, inhabiting a vessel and using it to sow death and destruction for its own amusement. 
By all accounts, this being is immortal and eternal. If its vessel is destroyed, it will simply find a new one. On this plane, or the next. Dominic closes the book. I thank you for all the help you provided in the writing of this history. And I truly hope that's the last we've all seen of the gloom. Dominic's smile fades as he nervously fidgets with a scrap of paper. Well, there was one last detail that gave me pause. I found some writings in the void that I simply could not decipher. They are vaguely similar to a runic language I once encountered up north, but the exact structure is unfamiliar. He hands the paper to you in silence. You study the runes closely, but do not recognize them. You shake your head. They are meaningless to you. I had hoped you might have encountered something similar on your travels, Dominic laments, but I knew that chance was small. Well, I'm sure the language experts at the university would enjoy the challenge. His smile slightly returns. I'll get this sent to them and let you know if they manage to translate this final mystery. Well, that did not unlock a new scenario. I'm not sure if there's some, like, sequence of, you know, random city encounters or road encounters that will lead us to another piece of that story. Um, but I think, as planned, um, I'm going to call this the end of our Gloomhaven campaign. Um, and, you know, I kind of want to summarize my thoughts on on the game you know up to this point and you know first of all i just want to say like what an amazing game um and and to think that this was you know granted with the help of others this game was basically made by one person and put together in like a board game format and um you know unfortunately right like i i said this at the at the very beginning like the first episode i'm not a you know, a board game player. Um, so, like, maybe this is par for the course, and there are plenty of other board games that are, like, you know, even better than this, and I just don't know about them. Um, but certainly the first time I encountered this game, I was blown away. Um, and one of the things that, like, I love in life is witnessing the genius of others, right? So, like, just to think that somebody sat down and, like, came up with all of this and put it together in a way that, like, we can enjoy that just makes me really happy and so you know I, I just you know thank you to isaac for making this game um and then thank you for i guess turning it into a, a digital version so i could play this without the physical upkeep of moving all the pieces around and having to play you know four players worth of stuff at once um you know that being said i think i understand a little bit why this game isn't more popular, right? Because I think, like, the, the core game mechanics are really interesting to me. Like, the way the cards play, the way the items work, the way the modifier deck works, the way, you know, the scenarios work. And there's, like, a variety in what you do each time. Like, and I think all that's fantastic. But I do think, like, especially toward the end and, like, the last few scenarios we did, it... I don't... No, it, like, it didn't feel all that satisfying to do them, um, if that makes any sense, right? Like, I think the more I learned about this game, the more I started to realize that, like, you can just cheese the hell out of so many things, and I was consciously trying not to do that, right? There were so many scenarios where I could have just ignored all of the, the monster content and just, like, rushed to the objective, um, or, you know, just cc specific mobs and like done this or that um and i think that's all that's all fine that's interesting and as a player like you know especially it's a single player game like the way i'm playing it um the player gets to decide how to interact with the possibility of cheese right um but i do think like the way the game mechanics work as we like leveled up and got toward the end it's not so much that we got, like, I don't even know what to call it, like, incrementally stronger as much as at certain breakpoints we unlocked things that, like, fundamentally 
break the game. Right? Like, um, every character was more or less, like, held up. Well, I shouldn't say every character, but, like, some of the characters were, like, held up by, you know, one or two cards that, like, every time we played it, it was just a huge turn. And, like, in all other contexts, it was kind of like, yeah, you know, I'm playing an attack card. Yeah, I'm playing, a, you know, this card. Um, but it felt like more of that crept up as the game went on. And it wasn't so much of, like, a push and pull between you and the monsters. It was more like, if the enemies actually get to use their big attacks, they do so much damage that, like you can't really do much about it. So it's like, you have to either CC spam them, or you curse spam them, or you like, you know, avoid it with invis, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and, you know, I think in that regard, I found myself losing interest in the combat, like, more toward the end of the campaign. So, I don't know, I don't know, like, I don't know how I would fix it. Um, and perhaps all of this is, you know, completely revamped and, and changed in, in the, the new version, like Frosthaven, right, is a, it's like a sequel to this game, um, and it's out in board game format. I don't think it's out in digital format yet, but I haven't, like, checked that carefully. Um, so maybe if it comes out, you know, in digital at some point, I'll play it and be blown away again. Um, but I think at this point... I'm I'm ready to to put a lid on this campaign in this game and then go and play something else. But you know, for sure, um, I had a fantastic time playing this game. I would highly recommend this to anybody who like enjoys, you know, tactics game like squad based combat, um, whatever you want to call it, or even anybody who enjoys board games. You know, I think like if you have a close friend or like a, you know a significant other or a spouse who you know also enjoys this kind of gameplay i think it would be really awesome to pick up a copy of the board game and like play it you know at home i think it's really hard to get like four people together or even three people consistently but if it's like someone you live with and like you can just be like all right let's you know get a table and set this game up and then anytime you know we have an evening that we just feel like hanging out and playing board games, like, we could play this for a while. And I think that would be a really fun way to engage with Gloomhaven. But in any case, I'm going to stop my rambling. Um, it has been a long, wonderful day of playing Gloomhaven, and I am going to go to sleep a happy man. It has been a great pleasure, and um, I hope this has been enjoyable to you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see some of you next time in the next game. Peace.